Hello there, it's Anna here. Welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today I share this chubby giraffe. She's made out of yarn scraps left from the giraffe inspired patterns that I created recently. Um, I did a giraffe wall hanging, uh, a mother giraffe and a baby rattle toy. If you like them, they're here. You can take a look at my Etsy shop in the description below. I use a microfiber yarn. Uh, the full information is on the written pattern also in the description below to a link to my website. It's a free pattern there. And a two millimeters crochet hook and stuffing material. Okay, there, there are also links in the description below with video tutorials for all the stitches and techniques I use to create this toy. And if you have any questions, Leave them in the comment box below. I will be super happy to help to answer you and help you with this pattern. Or if you just want to tell me hello, you can also use the comment box and I will hello you back. Um, I'm always posting videos patterns here. So if you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like on this video. This will help very much and will make me super happy and will stamp a smile on my face. Okay, so let's start with the pattern. We will start with the magic ring and six single crochet in the magic ring. So I will crochet my six single crochet here. If you need a better video teaching you how to do the magic ring, you can check the description. Uh, whoops. Perfect. Close your magic circle and Let's move on for a second row. So for the second row, you will crochet six increases. So you will have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this row. And make sure to count your, how many stitches you have at the end of every in each row. So you're just sure that everything is on track. I will add here a stitch marker. In my case, I use just a piece of different color yarn. And for a third row, you'll crochet one single crochet and one increase on the next one. One increase means that you will crochet two single crochets inside the same stitch. Okay, so at the end of this row, you'll have 18 stitches. Super good, fast forward here. For roll number four, you will crochet two single crochet and one increase. You will repeat that for six times and you'll have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this row. So here, one single crochet, two single crochet and one increase. And we will follow this pattern of adding six stitches on each and every row.
So moving on to row number five, three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you have a total of 30 stitches at the end of this row. For row number six, four single crochet, one increase, repeat six times and have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this row. So you just keep repeating and adding this, so at row number 7 now, we will do 5 single crochet, 1 increase and repeat that for 6 times. You'll have a total of 42 stitches at the end of this row. And here is the last time that we will increase for 6 times. Very great, so for this roll number 8, it's a little bit different, we will increase 3 times here only, so you'll crochet 13, single crochet, 1 increase, and repeat that for 3 times, have a total of 45 stitches at the end of this row. This will be our last row with increases. And for row 9 to 16, you will just crochet 45 single crochet. That's it, plain simple. No increases, no decreases, just 45 single crochet. Great, so I will catch you up on row, at the ending of the row 16. Great, now we are here, starting the row 17 is when we will start with the decreases. So here you will crochet 13 single crochet, 1 decrease, repeat that 3 times and have a total of 42 stitches. And this will be the only row that will decrease 3. From next row on we will decrease 6 stitches. So we start here for row number 18, 5 single crochet, 1 decrease, repeat that 6 times and have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this row.
and for row number 19, 4 single crochet, 1 decrease, repeat that 3 times and have a total of 30 stitches. One, two, three, four, Let's move on, row number 20, so 3 single crochet, 1 decrease, repeat that 6 times and have a total of 24 stitches. Following up by row 21, 2 single crochet, 1 decrease, repeat that 3 times and you have a total of 18 stitches. Okay, my last decrease and here we will stop a little bit to add the stuffing material in our toy. So let's just add a good amount of stuffing material here. This is up to you. If you like more soft toys, add a little bit less of stuffing material. I like my toys very firm. I add a little bit I, more, I add a good quantity of stuffing material. And let's move on to our last row. And for row number 22, one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and you'll have a total of 12 stitches. And this will be our last row. Very nice, let's organize here our stitches. This looks very nice to me. And we will fasten off. Let's close our toy. For closing the toy, I take the front loop of each stitch and then I pull at the end. So here just the front loop. If you need a full tutorial for that, you can check the link in the description below. There is a separate video only for fastening off the crochet toys. And now you see you pull tight. Good, it looks very nice to me. And we we'll start inserting our needle, taking like two by two stitches in our last row here. Okay, 
this looks great now let's fasten off okay super good this is looking very nice and we have our base okay so now let's move on for our antennas so here again you'll start with the magic ring And you will crochet six single crochet in a magic ring. Close tight, very nice. Here for the second row. You will crochet one single crochet, one increase, repeat that three times and you'll have a total of nine stitches at the end of this row. It's looking nice, let's just secure this better, super good. And here we will just, just one row without increases, so third row just nine single crochet. That's super good and for the fourth row one single crochet one decrease repeat that three times and you will have six single crochet at the end of the row And here on our last stitch, we change our color. There is a full guide for color changes also. And for row 5 and 6, you will crochet 6 single crochet. So here, let me organize my yarns and I will crochet above this tails from the other color. Okay, so two rows here with six single crochet. Go slowly, patience. You'll find, make sure to find all the stitches.
here now I'll just hide it inside the tails of my detail. I don't add stuffing material here, it's super small, so I just tuck in the remaining yarn and that is the stuffing. That's it, super good, our first antenna is ready and you're gonna make another one. For me, I have a magical <laughs> place where I have the other one ready. And they will go on the top of the head. Okay, this looks super good now. Let's move on to the ears. So here for the ears again, we start with a magic ring. And for the first row, you will crochet four single crochet inside the magic ring. Super good. Tight the circle nicely and crochet the second row. So here just four single crochet. Super good. Now you see that the stitches are curling a little bit to the outside, so let's just organize this here and make sure that our stitches are well seen. This is great. And let's move on to the third row. And for third row, you'll crochet four increases. So you'll have a total of eight stitches. That's it, super good. Let's just organize our stitches as a small piece and make sure that everything is nice. So for the next row, you will crochet eight single crochet. So no increases in this row. That's great. For row number five, one single crochet, one increase, repeat that four times and you'll have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this row.
That's it, super good. And for roll number six, 12 single crochet. Here I don't add stitch markers because we have not so many stitches, but if you don't feel comfortable, just add a stitch marker and make sure that you're not skipping any stitches. Okay, we hide this a little bit and move on for row number seven. We start with the decreases. So on number seven, you will here, you will make six decreases. So in total, you will have six stitches at the end of this row. This is looking very great, now it's narrow, it's nice, and for next row we will not make any decrease anymore. And for row 8 and 9, 6 single crochet. That's super good, let's cut this, leave a tail for sewing later and make another one. And now we will start crocheting our legs. And for the legs we start again with the magic ring. Let's close this off, super good. Now for row number two, you will make six increases and you'll have a total of 12 stitches. Let's add a stitch marker here. For row number three, you'll have 12 back post single crochet. So here we stop with increases and for this row you will do back post single crochet. There is a link in the description below with a tutorial teaching you and showing you how to make the back post single crochet, but basically you can also see it here.
Okay, this is looking super good. Let me just add a yellow color here on my last stitch. And for row 4 to 10, he will just make 12 single crochet. So this will be the height of our legs. And because I have less um, yellow, I will make a combination of brown and yellow so I can use proper my yarn. So here, this rose for, that you are growing for the height, you can just make your mix and use any kind of color of yarn to achieve this. So I made um, some legs with two rolls of yellow and the rest with the brown and some others with the brown and the rest of yellow. So you can see it here after I finish four of them because you need four <laughs> legs. Some of them there is more, some of them there is less yellow. So it really depends on you. I ran out of scraps. And just cut this and finish off. Now we start with the nose and we will crochet six single crochet in a magic ring. Super good, let's close this and for row number 2 you will crochet 6 increases and have a total of 12 stitches. See, it's super simple. And third row. One single crochet, one increase, repeat six times and have a total of 18 stitches. This is great. And our last row, row number 4, you will crochet 18 single crochet. That's it. Super good, this is looking nice, let's cut this yarn, leave a tail for sewing. And now we start sewing our chubby giraffe, alright? So here I'll use pins to find the best position for my details, but in the written pattern there is the exact place that I will sew this. Here I'm just checking where it looks nice and where it looks symmetrical to me. So this is looks looking good and I will sew. But the, find the exact, exact position in the written pattern, all right? So here I'll just show you how I start sewing and then I will move fast forward because it's a very long process. Just go slow with your sewing. Sewing is a very important part of Amigurumi and I know a bunch of people, even myself, I don't like sewing a lot of 
pieces, but it can be done nicely. You just need to be slow, check if the if your detail haven't moved, if it's say on same place, you know. Just take your time. Press play in some music. That's it, this is looking great. I will fasten off here. It's very nice, super good. And I will sew this one and I will come back here. Ta-da, magic. My ears are sewed, let's move on to the antennas. You can see this line, right? We have the antennas and the ears on the same level. Super good. Very nice, I will sew now the other one. Great, so this is now, let me just organize this in the back. Great. Again, I find the best position. Let me just put add here where. For the positions, also for the eyes, everything you have in the written in the written pattern. Here, I'm just looking what is looks nice to me, and I'm sewing. That's super good. And here, before you finish sewing this no the nose, let us add a little bit of stuffing material. So we have some structure here.
Okay, that's super good. Now we will start sewing the legs. And for the legs again, let me just hide this. Okay, good. For the legs, it's looking so cute. Yay! Hello. For the legs, we will use a little bit of stuffing material. Here we'll add in the four of them. Okay, super good. And we will find the best position here for sewing the legs. This looks very nice to me. Good, we sew here the first ones, the ones in front, and then the ones on the back. So this is how it should be. Good. So here, let me just start. And again, I will show you the beginning, and then I will move forward all right if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below if you have any suggestions on my patterns leave them in the comments below i'm learning it will be always good to know if it was useful for you if it was helpful so let me know This, ta-da, we have our first leg, I will sew the other one, and I will meet you here. Great, this is the second one. Now we we'll start sewing the ones from the back. So again, I will find the best position that I see for myself here. And fasten with pins, so it doesn't move while I'm sewing it. This is how it should be looking like. So again, I will just sew and I will come back here. Okay? <laughs> Super nice. That's it. I have here sewed all of my legs. And starting now with the eye. So let's embroider this eye. I will show you how I embroider my eyes. But in case you're using safety eyes, again, on the written pattern, there is all the exact position where I add everything. So in case you're embroidering, you can check how I do. Basically, I go, uh, I start making lines, straight lines, and then I start contouring around. But you can see it here. Super good. I will now move to the second eye and I will meet you up later when I'm done. So we will embroider the mouth. Super good. So we finish with the eyes. Let's do here. This looks nice just under the first first row. Okay, let's hold this here. Mm -hmm. So cute. That's very nice. Let's move this to the back and cut this off. Hide it. Look at this. This is so great. You can stop here, but in my case, I decided to add some dots, some around. 
I might chub a giraffe's face, so this I'll just make some lines here. This is looking super good. Great, here you add as many as you, as much as you want. If you don't want to make it, it's up to you. Now let's just take uh, some couple of pieces of yarn and make here a fast tail, all right? So in my case, I took uh, two strings of yellow and one of brown. I will simply attach attach this here okay this is super good and let me cut where where i can cut where's the size is looking nice Great, and the giraffe is ready. Look at this, so little, so cute. And that's it. We have this beautiful, beautiful giraffe. She's so cute, my chubby little giraffe made out of my yarn scraps. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you like, leave me a thumbs up. This will help a lot. And consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time. Bye.